assured, it says, don't fear the silence. It's a big audience of people who think they've done enough by buying the tickets, because it's almost like being at the theatre, but it isn't. <laughs> and acts nervously watch each other going, he did well, oh, I wouldn't have done that material. <laughs> oh, you know, what's he thinking? He's committed suicide. <laughs> this is being broadcasted. And we all nervously go, well done, while secretly we're going, fuck you, I never rated you. <laughs> And you all sit there going, I feel good about myself, and yet you look like you spiked drinks in old bar one. <laughs> and I'd like to come out here and entertain you and make you feel good about yourself, when secretly deep down I think, you've got three cars, and the third one, you don't even drive, you fucker. <laughs> and then you all go, hey, if we look out for ourselves, if we get near the front, we might be on telly. <laughs> And you will be on telly. Now you're guaranteed being on telly. And you grin at me like a nodding dog into the wrong end of the car. And I hate you. <laughs> I, I came out starting to curb, and now I think, why? Because look at him, stroking the leg when she could have been man, you slag. <laughs> and you clap, and you have to. And you put your hand up and go, hey, good gag. But actually, I'm having a real dig at you, and everyone's enjoying it. <laughs> Because the lad behind doesn't like you. Look at him. If the camera's on him, that spiteful one. The one that could have fucking you could have picked on him at school, but now he's a bit bigger. That's it. Get a shot. Not him. <laughs> the one in the stripy shirt. Hey, and I'm not that pissed. <laughs> but he doesn't like you, and I don't like you. So you're stuck in a pincer movement, and all the while I'm looking at your lass, and you're doing fuck all because it's a charity gig. <laughs> I can ask it on stage and fondle her and get off with her. And you're thinking, it's all right. It's really funny, cos when you turn away, Charlie, your hair sticks out like it's been glued on. <laughs> Have you been in some kind of industrial accident? <laughs> cos you look like a badly mended teapot that's been knocked over by an overactive nephew. <laughs> and that's how nervous I am. I've got a big crowd. Loads of people have it. You can't see what's going on, but he's ugly. <laughs> and he's got money. And he's with a woman that some of you couldn't afford to be with because she uses him for his money. <laughs> and then you sit here and applaud him. What I would like to see is a room full of people going, let's take him outside and burn him. <laughs> Well, you won't do that because you're far too well behaved because it's for tsunami. Look at me! I've taken the opportunity to advertise. <laughs> McDonald's, yum yum, I love you. I don't care if you don't donate any money. Send us some free burgers. I'll be chuffed. <laughs> you all said they're comforted apart from these two who've lost two people. Where's she gone? You don't know, you don't care. Did you turn up with someone? No. Was you with them people? Aye. Well then, Ken Livingston is obviously still hiding from the Jews. <laughs> oh, the fuck has a front row seat and doesn't turn up? <laughs> and look at you with a broken leg, saying, no, I've not been abandoned. Yeah, you are, cos you're clumsy. <laughs> you're clumsy! And you spoiled big nights out for people. <laughs> you couldn't handle the stirs. So two people have stayed home just so you can hop around looking for sympathy. <laughs> if you want sympathy, don't dress like you used to work at LA Law, you <laughs> sad get. <laughs> Look here, yeah, I would button down the collars, but it's casual Tuesday. <laughs> How did you hurt your leg? And I'm guessing fucking skiing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, right. And I, I swear, I don't know what money we're going to raise tonight, but I would match it if you hold your other leg out and let me break it in a similar fashion. <laughs> Look at them all applauding again. You've got a room full of people who want to hurt the front row. <laughs> yeah, that's charity for you. <laughs> Big Mac, yum yum, make sure you get close up, you fucker. <laughs> don't go on the other side of the stage. Look at it, yum yum. Yeah, it made me fat, but I've still got me esophagus. <laughs> oh, did you see that film where the bloke ate loads of them and they got really ill? Yeah, see that film about that bloke who drank gem for nine days and he dropped dead? 
You've got to level it out! <laughs> Have a Big Mac for six days and then pretend you love your mum and go back round and talk to her and shit. <laughs> then you get a Sunday lunch, you know. Yeah. Big Macs, too gravy. <laughs> Gravy does it for me. And look at now going, oh, he's starting strong. He's not picking on the front row. He's weakening. I don't care. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty of a gig like this is come out, don't be intimidated by the masses. Embrace all of them. This to me is just the biggest bus stop in the world. <laughs> I'm having a go at all of you, and you're all sitting there putting up with it. At least one of you get up and go, I ain't putting up with this shit. <laughs> I paid for 29 comics. And 29 comics I wish to see. You there, one hand almost curled up. <laughs> maybe because of a disease, judging by the front row. <laughs> or maybe because you're angry. What does your T-shirt say? When she's won me, they don't. <laughs> but you're beyond irony. <laughs> Are you calling your girlfriend a wench? If she is, then therefore I have the right to fucking get off with her. <laughs> when she's won, yeah, I have the right to fucking kiss her with tongue. <laughs> Sit back, you ironic bastard, and watch it. <laughs> hey, babies, with charity, just give it up to Vegas. <laughs> to see you in a T-shirt that says, I love her and I don't want to share her and I'm fucking sorry for being such a bigot. <laughs> Look at you all, you're so... You're so... contrite! <laughs> Your breasts aren't on show, but they are on show. Yours are covered up, but you've left the cleavage with a bit of coral blue. You know that, what that does to fat lads. <laughs> to me than that, and that's poor scratchings. <laughs> They're like catnip for fat blokes. <laughs> yeah! Poor scratchings. Oh, I could stroke your hair till it fell out. <laughs> for God's sake, look here. Stop being so accepting. When the next act comes on, and I don't want to ruin it for them, tell them to fuck off if you don't like it. <laughs> Stop making it a charity gig and making it a comedy night. Get a bit angry. Don't accept it with middle-class silence. <laughs> oh, what up? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you know what? You tried to sound working class, but you fucked up the... Oh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, you so nearly pierced me through the heart. And then what happened? You showed that you've never been to Butlins. You've only been on a fucking caravan site nearby. Father, can I borrow the binoculars so I can watch the poor people? <laughs> Kiss me ass. <laughs> You're all there to give money. Right, I know we've only got seven minutes. They kept reminding us. But we've got a chance to raise some proper money. Not money from the tickets. Because money from the tickets goes for sandwiches backstage and they were lush. <laughs> <laughs> this is money that you're giving that only the stage hands can nick, and if they do, I promise Johnny, you, I'll track her down and sorry. I'll break her. Johnny, Johnny, sweetheart, darling, it's over now. Sorry. You've got to get off, love. Oh, You've right. got to get off. Well, I ask throughout the performance. Off you go. It's no, a nice no, laugh. stop talking now. Chuck your money Goodbye. at people. See if you can blind the performer. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> off, off. This way. You'll be beautiful. Yay. You'll be beautiful. <laughs>